Hey everyone, this is Wynal Joy and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today's episode is about what is breadcrumbing and what to do or what question to ask yourself if a man is breadcrumbing you. Okay? Um, so in this YouTube channel, I give dating and relationship tips. So if you haven't, if you're new to this channel, hit the subscribe button. And so what is breadcrumbing? Okay, breadcrumbing is uh, is a popular term na ginagamit kapag yung lalaki um, medyo, na dinid, medyo dinidate ka. Parang yung breadcrumbs, di ba, makakonti lang siya, maliliit. Pa, um, pag binibigyan ka ng pakonti-konting attention, time, pambobola, affection nung lalaki, just to keep you on his hook. Uh, para makip ka niya on his hook, para pagkailangan ka niya, when he feels needy of a compa your companionship, of sex, of attention, of validation, matatawagan ka niya, and you're gonna be there for him. Okay? So, yan ang breadcrumbing. <laughs> Yung, um, medyo may, may, may nakukuha ka, pero hindi sapat. Alam mo yun? may nakukuha ang attention na ninanamnam mo naman, ine-enjoy mo. Um, yung mga konting highs na yon uh, good highs, na paminsan-minsan, is for you, na justify yung mga lows, yung mga days and days and sometimes weeks na hindi siya nagpaparamdam. Okay? So, what to do sa ganyan klaseng sitwasyon and Anong question ang dapat mong i-ask sa sarili mo? Unang-una, bakit nandyan, ang question to ask yourself ay, bakit nandyan ka sa sitwasyon na yan? What are you still doing with that guy? Okay? Um, yeah, because ang tendency nating mga babae, when we're so attracted to a man, we tend to overvalue, overvalue, his real value, his real worth, okay? Porket nag-invest tayo, itong isang human nature, we, we seem to, we tend to overvalue what we invest with, what we invest in, okay? So, dahil nag-invest tayo, maybe we had sex with them or whatever, um, we went out with him on a few dates and, you know, so, you know, whatever kind of investment, with an emotional investment nagka feelings tayo what nag show siya ng vulnerability nag nag appeal yan sa fixer mentality ng ibang girls or like you know yung instinct ng babae to want to nurture to want to heal so in a way nag emotionally invest tayo dun sa lalaki so just because sa konting interaction na yon medyo nag invest tayo a little bit we, we tend to overvalue the man Okay, na, na nawawala na yung rational natin na ah uh, na yung worth ng lalaki binabase natin sa attraction natin for him and sa investment natin on him instead of sa investment niya on us. Okay? So, what to do is um uh okay, so ganito yan. Uh, may dalawang imagine may ano dito, lever. Okay, this is lever ng attraction and this is lever ng investment. Pag attracted ka sa guy, okay mag-invest ka a little bit just to test if mag invest din siya. If he does invest, okay, then increase mo yung, you can increase your attraction and invest a little bit more, you know. And either papantayan mo lang yung investment niya or dapat mas less invested ka on him. Especially sa beginning, dapat less invested ka on him. Make him work for it. Make him work for your time, attention. And, yeah, because cause men especially don't value what they don't work hard for. <laughs> okay? So, para maisip nila na, ah, val ikaw yung value, valuable ka, Make them invest on you more, especially in the beginning ng interaction. Okay, don't over-invest on the guy. Okay, it's gonna work against you. And ang lalaki, um, uh, they're gonna chase girls na 
na based on the girl's vibe, okay? And they don't fall in love sa babae. Men don't fall in love with women for what you do for them, okay? Or what you give to them. Uh, men are attracted to you for who you are, you know? And not necessarily for what you do to them, okay? And men don't fall in love for what you give to them, but they fall in love when they give to you. So allow them to give to you, allow them to invest on you, allow them to over invest on you so that um, Marie raise yung value mo sa mata niya, sa ego niya. And um, when pag na raise mo yung value mo sa perception niya, he's gonna respect you more. And when he respects you, that's when he can. Um, is gonna allow himself to be emotionally connected to you. Men um, don't connect emotionally with women they do not respect. Okay? So, in the beginning of the dating, no, dating, you're gonna have to want to make it fun and exciting, but at the same time, demonstrate your value in a way that it's gonna build his respect. Okay? Because respect is gonna be the gateway for him to emotionally connect with you. Okay, and so um, usually, nung yari yung 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 ganyang situation na the more mas na attract tayo dun sa guy pag mas nag over invest tayo tapos nag 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 pull away siya or hot and cold siya, kasi usually nung yari yan pagka ikaw mismo at a subconscious level <laughs> Iniisip mo, yun ang deserve mo. Okay? Whatever results you have in your life, at a subconscious level, that's what you think you deserve. Okay? So, in order for us to change the results in our lives, we're gonna have to, um, we're gonna have to do the deep inner work, subconscious work, in order to get rid of us of all, um, bring up to our conscious awareness all those beliefs that are running behind our that are you know running the show behind our conscious awareness at the subconscious level we're gonna have to do all those inner work okay and sometimes we think in love yon okay yung, yung pleasure and pain yung high and low of a guy breadcrumbing being hot and cold being there sometimes and not there sometimes sometimes we think love yon but it's not real love okay um that's just our idea of love okay and itong idea na to tayo lang din na create yan it's a it's a belief you know especially if for example me um ganyan din ganyan din ako before pagka hot and cold yung guy mas naiin love ako kesa yung mga guy na over invest on me kasi um yung brain natin, it sticks to what's familiar, not what's necessarily good, okay? Not what's necessarily better. It sticks to what's familiar. It sticks to what helped it survive through the years, okay? But what helped us, all the behavioral patterns that help us survive through the years are not necessarily what will take us to the next level of growth, of results in our life, you know? So, oh wait, yeah, no. uh, So, um, yeah. So, kunyare, nung bata ka, what's familiar to you is the kind of love na binibigay sa yun ng parent mo. What if yung upbringing mo nung bata ka was not very loving? For example, um, usually nangyayare pag kunyare nung bata ka, um, in order to gain your parents' love or attention or or acceptance or approval you had to do certain things for them so and and sometimes sila then emotionally withdrawn hot and cold then yung parents natin sa atin so sub, at the subconscious level binigyan natin ng meaning yon na ah love is like this this is what love is just like how what's familiar to me kung paano ako nila love ng parent ko before na hot and cold uh, that's what's love that's what love is so we tend to repeat that pattern sa romantic relationships natin when we when we grow up. Um, but you know, our romantic relationships 
are not our parents. <laughs> so, so, jaan nagkakaroon ng conflict. Jaan, iyan yung isa sa mga reason why na-attract tayo sa mga emotionally unavailable man, sa mga breadcrumbers. So, yeah. Don't get, don't get too invested too soon, especially emotionally, or even with your time, attention, or any resources on a man until he earned it by him investing on you more, especially sa beginning ng relationship or ng dating, okay? And while um, you have to value your exclusivity and your, yeah, you have to value your exclusivity, so until a man truly earns it with his investment on you, investment of respect, time, attention, and connecting with you until he earns it, do not over invest on a man and uh, still see other guys, you know, still see other guys until, um, until may mahanap ka na who is investing on you, giving you what you want and need, and you know, ako isang pattern ko rin yan because sa mom ko, um, lagging, I felt like to gain her love, I needed to do things for her, you know, I, I needed to do, to give to her. Kasi napansin ko, doon niya lang ako pinaka binavalidate, pinapakitaan ng approval and ng love. When I was doing uh, such and such things for her, okay? So, naging pattern ko yan sa dating ko sa lalaki. So, umpisa wala akong gusto sa lalaki, and, but then, pag makulit sila, in the beginning, nag-chase sila, and, and na, na, na-attract ako, so, nag invest ako too soon, nang hindi pa nila talaga na, na earn. So, nag invest ako, dahil nag invest ako, I, I keep giving to them, that even though I'm taking from myself already, and counterproductive pala yun. The more ginagawa ko yun, the less attractive I become to them. Mas na, 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 I was killing their attraction for me giving all these things for them, you know? Mas mataas pa yung attraction nila sa akin nung hindi ko sila pinapansin. Okay? <laughs> Kaya, yan yung reason kung bakit yung mga hindi natin gustong guys, sila yung gustong gusto tayo, di ba? Kasi hindi tayo nag-i-invest sa kanila. So, sila yung mas nagtatry to get our approval, our validation, they try to over-invest on us. So, so yeah, that, that's the thing. So, kaya ngayon, ganun na ako. Um, I date uh, multiple men. Date as in have coffee with them, have dinner, have uh, lunch, you know. Um, at the same time, while, um, and I'm, I'm not over-investing emotionally or sexually or anything until a man has earned it. Ideally, um, yung sex dapat mangyayari yan um, after may agreement na kayo na exclusively dating kayo, okay? But although, you know, tao lang tayo, sometimes nangyayari yung sex even before the talk, okay lang yun as long as yung next <laughs> na session next round next na mag you're gonna about to do it again kailangan um may agreement na na exclusive kayo and there are ways on how to communicate that to him and so yeah don't don't invest your time attention emotions resources money on men na na hindi nag invest on you just because you're attracted to them, di ba? So what kung attractive sila? Ngayon, ang mindset ko na wala akong pake kung may ari ka ng buong universe, kung kung Diyos ka. <laughs> uh, wala akong pake kung presidente ka ng buong universe. Um, if you're not investing on me, kahit kamukha mo yung ikaw pinakagwapo, pinakamayaman, pinakamatalino, pinakalahat-lahat na pinakamabait, pinakasanto sa universe. If you're not investing on me, I'm not investing on you, I'm not crushing on you. Wala, wala akong emotional investment on you. Ganon. So, yeah, in order to uh, resolve that issue, you're gonna have to first do the inner work within yourself. Okay? Um, 
So, yeah, these are uh, all the mga things that I'm, I'm working on right now. So, if you want one-on-one -on -one coaching on, you know, how to bring about all those unconscious um, programs that's running in the background of how you run your romantic relationships and to uh, para maging aware ka sa mga past behavioral patterns mo, attachment styles mo, um, you can send me a message and uh, let's discuss how uh, how I can help you. So this has been Wynal Joy. I hope um, this uh, video. Uh, I hope you got something, got value out of this video. And I have a blog, WynalLearnsToLove.com, and yeah, so I have an Instagram also, WynalLearnsToLove, and so yeah. Uh, like subscribe and share my channel especially to your girlfriends if you want if um, uh, you got value out of this I love you all um, in case nobody's told you today I love you <laughs>